Welcome to another safety briefing, a short safety briefing from CJP. I'm David Miller, and with me today are, as you can see, are astronaut Charlie Precourt, and from the Presage Group, Dr. Martin Smith, who is the CEO and co-founder, and Captain Piyush Gandhi, who is a researcher with the organization. Folks, we are about to embark on a groundbreaking study to improve safety, to reduce the accident rate, and hopefully reduce insurance costs as well. We're teaming up with the prestigious Presage Group of Canada, and we are about to scientifically discover the how and why we make go-around decisions. This kind of study has never been done before. As I said, it's groundbreaking uh, because we are doing it primarily with single piloted jets. It's going to garner a lot of national attention and we need your help as CJP members uh, for it to be successful. We have tremendous support so far from our financial partners, which include the uh, FSTAT, Flight Safety, Textron Aviation Training, uh, Garmin, the folks at Textron, NBAA, the Air Charter Safety Foundation, and our very own CJP Safety and Education Foundation. This is gonna be an important study. Charlie, tell us why it's important. Well, thanks, David. That was a great introduction. This is one of our most significant initiatives, and many thanks to Presage and before them, the Flight Safety Foundation, uh, for helping us organize this. It'll be, as you say, groundbreaking in that it's the first of its kind for single pilot operations. Airlines like Southwest, Air Canada, many others have done this with great results. And those results are addressing what is also our most significant problem in flying our aircraft, and that is runway overruns and excursions. And uh, it turns out that 50% approximately of all accidents and incidents in our citation aircraft are a result of ex of a overrun or excursion incident. So um, in order to attack that problem head on, uh, we were introduced through the Flight Safety Foundation to Presage uh, to the methods that they have used to create what I like to call go around triggers. Um, that are much better than the stabilized approach criteria in helping us determine when a go around is needed. Turns out in their studies, they'll talk more about the science behind it, but only 3% of unstable approaches, unstable per the traditional flight safety foundation criteria, uh, only 3% of the unstable ones go around. And you all remember our discussion of the Dale Earnhardt Jr. accident uh, last year at the convention about the difficulties of that latitude approach they were unstable on six or seven parameters and didn't take it around. And the result was a catastrophic loss of the aircraft. And only through luck did we manage to have the crew and passengers survive. But in any event, what we attempting, are attempting to do is to come up with some really uh, key trigger points for our community to use for go around execution and decision-making. And by engaging all of you in the process, we think we'll get better buy-in as to what constitutes the need for a go around and reduce those accidents. Um, it turns out in our discussions with the uh, likes of Air Canada and, and, uh, and Southwest Airlines and several others, that once they saw the pilots buying in and being a part of deciding what those triggers should be, the, the compliance rate went way up and the uh, accidents predictably went down. And so that's our objective here as well. So David, I'll leave it at that. We, we really uh, want to get into some of the details of how we will conduct this. I'll just kind of lead off that thought with, um, we're going to have you all answer a very lengthy set of questions that are scenario based. And we'd ask that you not widely share answers with each other. We want your experience. We get into later phases of the program after Presage analyzes that data. We'll have an open forum for you to discuss your thoughts but really we want your thoughts as they are raw as you go into this first phase to help us with answering these scenario-based questions. Over to you, David. Thanks, Charlie. Um, Dr. Smith, you have done this kind of research with airlines around the world. Can you talk a little bit about the science that's involved? Sure, can do. Thanks very much, David and Charlie. I appreciate you setting the table that way. That's, uh, that's great. What I can tell you is, uh, Presage has been at this for about 10 years, specifically looking at non-compliance to the go-around policy. Uh, and about seven years ago, we uh, completed uh, a study through the Flight Safety Foundation that 
uh, really explode, exploited, I should say, the, uh, the pilot's mental model, what was going on in terms of human decision-making in the flight deck and what the drivers for non-compliance were. So since that time, several years ago, we've now uh, pretty much quantified several million data points on pilot decision-making below a thousand feet. And our process for unpacking this is we're gonna ask um, the responding population here, the respondents to recall an event where the aircraft became unstable at stable approach height or below stable approach height, I should say, became unstable. And they initiated a go around as per uh, practice or policy or alternatively recall an event where the aircraft became unstable at or below stable approach height gate, whether 1,000 or 500, and you continued the unstable approach through to landing. Thanks, Marty. And uh, yeah. Captain Gandhi, tell us how we're going to gather the data and test the theories. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Uh, thank you, David. Thank you, Charlie. And, and, and thanks, Marty, for, for leading that all. Um, in my previous life as a VP of flight ops for two airlines uh, here in Canada, um, where we engaged the presage intervention, uh, the results were remarkable. And we followed a proven methodology. Uh, the, the first airline that, that was participating in that, uh, we were a first starter and CJP has the opportunity to be a first starter here too. So as uh, I'll just reiterate what Marty and Charlie were saying is we need as much participation as possible, but, but, but CJP will be the pioneers in, in the, uh, in the business jet and, and certainly in the, in the single pilot jet, uh, uh, domain where uh, what we do here will will set the benchmark for what happens in the future. So when we get the data from uh, as many of you as uh, as possible that participate in this survey, we will um, take it through our intellectual property and we have a, a proven science behind that. Uh, we will get the data, we will collect it, we will analyze it. And at the end of that, uh, we will provide a report of findings. That report of findings will contain um, aggregate data and it'll say what, what the CJP community is saying about to this particular issue uh, in response to the survey questions. And we will have a list of uh, recommendations that, that we will uh, put in place to mitigate future runway incur incursions and also to, to um, to improve the go-around decision-making process for, for CJP pilots. Once we've come up with a list of things that we can do, uh, that could be changes in policies, changes in procedures, changes in SOPs, call-outs, uh, a number of uh, different areas that we can work with, um, we will take those uh, uh, opportunities and we'll test them in the simulator. Uh, we're making arrangements with FSTAT right now to set up simulator time so that we will run people into the simulator and they will do these, they will try these new procedures with and without um, uh, any interventions. And we will see what the results are and see if they work. Uh, they will test really the efficacy of the, the new, new procedures that we're, that we're trying to establish. Once we get that, uh, we will communicate, uh, we will educate. At the CJB conference in the fall, we will provide a presentation as to where we landed on all of this. And hopefully just after that, we will launch them as live new pr uh, procedures uh, for, for uh, CJP. Folks, Charlie and this prestigious group have put in countless hours to get us where we are today. And all we need from you right now is your honest input on this very important survey that you're about to receive. As the guys said, we'll take that data, we'll test the theories in the simulator, and we'll come up with deliverables that you can use in your cockpit to improve safety every day. Please help us move the needle. Look for the, su the survey coming soon to an email near you and uh, we'll start the process. Thanks guys very much.